Hi, I'm Chef Brittany Williams at Clark, New England's official showroom and test kitchen for Sub-Zero and Wolf. And today, we're going to be talking about a great technique, blanching. Blanching helps you ensure that these wonderful fresh vegetables like asparagus, green beans, even broccoli, stay really great and bright. It also actually par cooks them a little bit, which makes it great for popping them into a saute pan or throwing them on the grill. And if you're going to be freezing your fresh vegetables, it's absolutely important that you blanch them first. Before we blanch, I'm going to share with you a few knife techniques. So, a couple of things we can do here is one is you can actually just go ahead and simply dice into small cylinders like this. This technique is really great and it looks awesome in pastas, on salads, and even in an omelet. The next technique I'm going to show you, one of my favorites, is actually an extreme bias cut, which is gonna look like this. Basically, you just go ahead and cut on an extreme bias, just like this. And as you cut, you're gonna start noticing you're gonna get these beautiful thin slices that are really pretty, really makes the green pop. The last one I'm gonna share with you is my personal favorite, is the ribbon. So all you do is, a thicker asparagus spear might actually work best for this, is you're gonna take a peeler, a regular old vegetable peeler, and just start peeling. As you can see, it makes these beautiful ribbons of asparagus, and again, that contrast between the white and the green really looks beautiful, especially in a salad. So to blanch our asparagus, simply bring a pot of water to a boil, season with a little bit of kosher salt, and go ahead and drop in your asparagus pieces. Just takes a couple seconds, and we're gonna fish them out and put them right into an ice bath, which is just ice and water. This is a really important step called shocking because it's going to actually stop the cooking process and seal in that beautiful bright green color. And then we can store these right into the refrigerator and they're ready to go to saute, to grill, anything. And you can also freeze these. For more tips and tricks, log on to clarkliving.com.